Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how you can create a stinger transition with your logo for your live streams or maybe just use it as a transition for your videos. So let's open up After Effects and let's get started. So my After Effects is now open. Let's create a new composition. I'm going to call it main. I'm using a width of 1920, a height of 1080, and a frame rate of 60. The duration is about 5 seconds. That might be too long for you, so just um, adjust it um, to whatever fits your needs. So I'm going to change this to full. Alright, so first we're going to come here to our rectangle tool and we're going to create a rectangle that fits, that is bigger than the composition, so like this. And now we're going to have the layer selected, we're going to press R and we're going to change the angle of it. So I'm going to go around negative 35. So now, as you can see, if I move it like this, it does that. However, it cuts the corner. So what we want to do is we're going to drag this up like this so that when we move it, it doesn't get cut out. And maybe you can squeeze these in a little bit. That way, it's like that. Boom. So now we have this. And now we're going to animate it. So I'm going to rename this to red. You do that by pressing enter while having the layer selected. Now we're going to open up our position property, so press P on your keyboard. Go to where you want the your logo to pop up, so I'm going to go around here and I'm going to press the position to set a keyframe there. Now we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to drag this to the left. So you have to press shift so that it stays along that axis, so like this. So now, as you can see, we have this. Okay, so now we're going to go a few frames forward from the middle keyframe and we're going to press another keyframe. This way, the shape layer stays in the middle for this amount of time. Then we're going to the end and we're going to drag this all the way out. So now we have this. But that's really... It's really bland, it's so slow. So we're going to select the first two keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Now we're gonna open up the graph editor. Make sure you're on speed and not value. And then we're going to press this to be able to see our full graph. And we're going to change the left one. So we're gonna hold it, hold shift and drag it to the left. This way it starts off slow and then goes faster. So slow, fast. So now we're going to exit out of that. Select the last two keyframes, right, and then right click, keyframe assistant, and easy ease. Then go back into the graph editor, and we're going to do the opposite of that. So we're going to select the right one and drag it to the left. This way, it goes fast, then slow. So this is what we have so far. And that actually might be too fast. And I know I said that five seconds per probably work, but I'm going to decrease the, the size. So I'm actually going to drag all these keyframes a little bit closer together, like so, including this one. So that's a little bit better for me. Um, let me just put them a little closer. So that's better. So I'm going to put the current time indicator over the last keyframe and I'm going to drag this over to here. And then I'm going to right click over here and put trim comp to work area. Now we have this. And now Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D and change the color. So I'm going to change it to a blue and I'm going to change the name of the layer. To blue so that we know what we're working with and i'm actually going to put the blue at the bottom and now what we have to do is we're going to offset these so that way the blue is visible because right now you can't see the blue layer so i'm going to put move the red one like one frame forward i think that's one frame forward yeah Six. and now you can see the blue if i go into fit you can see the blue and you guys can add another color so i'll 
I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna duplicate the blue and I'm going to change it to a yellow or like a nice gold color. And I'm gonna change the layer name to gold. And I'm actually going to move the gold to the bottom of the blue. So now we have to do the same thing. However, you're gonna have to select the blue and red layer and move the blue one frame forward. And now um, there should be a one frame difference between each layer. So now we have this. So now we want to add our logo. Okay, so I now have my logo here. It's a little small, so I'm going to scale it up. Press S on your keyboard, scale it up to the size that you want. And now we're going to drag the red on top of the logo. But now as you can see, the logo cannot be seen. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure your track my options are open. If you don't have this, there's going to be like a toggle switch or something down here. And we're going to change it to alpha matte red. So now, as you can see, the logo is visible. However, the red isn't. So what you want to do is you're going to duplicate this red one and we're going to put it at the bottom of the logo. So now we have two reds and now that should work. Just make sure you make it visible again. And now you can see it. The logo is revealed. It stays there for a little bit and then it exits out. Nice. So it's a little bit plain. So what you can do is open up the scale on the logo and go to around here and press um, a, the keyframe button here and then go to here to where it like kind of um, gets cut out and add another keyframe. Let's go back to this keyframe and you could do like a, the logo scales in or out. And I'm actually gonna do with a scale out. So I'm gonna make the first transition a little bit, the first scale keyframe a little bit bigger. Go to the end of, go to the other keyframe and make it a little smaller. So now as you can see, it's kind of um, going down, but that's too much, so 247. So I'm gonna do 247 minus 20. So now it's not that fast of a movement. So then we're going to select those keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So now we have this. And you can add a drop shadow to your logo so it's a little bit more noticeable. So I'm just gonna add drop shadow. And as you can see, there's some drop shadow. You can change the distance, the opacity. However, what I'm going to do is add a long shadow. Now, this is a plugin by RG Universe, so Red Giant Universe, and you need to pay for these. And it basically just creates a long shadow for you. And I like this one, and I'm going to decrease the opacity. Like so. So I just think that looks really cool. So So if you if you even have the if you have this plugin, you can also keyframe the length of it. So around here. So you can make the length 0 here. And then it comes in as the um as the as the logo is showing so that's something you can add if you have this plugin if not then you can just go with the drop shadow okay so now we have this and something else you can add is let's close all these up and we can add some motion blur to all these make sure this turns blue and now there's gonna be like motion blur. That's all up to personal preference. Personally, I like adding it.
Okay, and now of course we can have a stinger transition without the sound effect. And I actually have one here. This is a slash I use for most of my logo animations. You guys can find some on YouTube. However, I own the rights to this one because um, I bought the license to it. So I can't give it to you guys, but there's different ways you can get them for you on YouTube. If you guys need help with that, just let me know and I will definitely help. So once you have um, your audio here, you could open up the waveform by opening this up, open the audio, and there should be a waveform one here. And now you can see where the sound effect starts. So you can drag, you can drag this to where it needs to be. So. So it's just about adjusting it and making it fit. You might have to move the keyframes if your animation is too slow for the sound effect or just use a different one. However, I think I made it work. So here's the 